Happy Thursday, Church. Pastor Chris here with you. It's Ascension Day. It's the 40th day of counting the Omer to the Feast of Shavuot Pentecost. Let's go, Church. Go with me today to Acts chapter 1 in your Bible. Real quick, just want, like, I'm excited. I, I just wanted to come to you today. I hope you're excited as well. I hope you're having a great day as well. But Acts chapter 1, starting in verse 6. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? This is something we're all wondering. Lord, when are you coming back? Lord, when is your kingdom going to come and your will be done? When is it all over? They were asking the same thing 20 centuries ago. And Jesus said to them, it is not for you to know the time to the season that the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all of Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. And when he had said these things, as they were looking on, he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. This changes everything. And I know, I know we can talk about Passover, and we can talk about the resurrection, and we can talk about all that, and all these things change everything. But guys, this wasn't Jesus just going home. This was Jesus going to his enthronement ceremony. He was enthroned at the right hand of the Father, all power, all majesty, all honor given to him. And it's through that enthronement that he has set up that final battle, that final return, that final establishment, because the grave couldn't hold him. Death couldn't hold him. This is miraculous. Now, the number 40 in the Bible has a lot of meanings, but like, let's tie it in real, real quick. 40 years in the desert for the Israelites, 40 years before the promised land. There's 40 days of temptation for Jesus Yeshua before he even enters into his ministry, before he even goes into it, conquers the devil, conquers the grave, conquers it all. 40. 40. 40 days is a preparation, a transition time. And those 40 days was a transition time that the world was never going to be the same. You and I will never be the same because he died. He rose, he walked, improved, and he ascended with all majesty and all power. Ten days, church, ten days left, ten days left until we memorialize the giving of the law and the establishment of a people at Sinai. Ten days until we memorialize the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on Messianic Christians in the first century, ten days. Ten days till we gather in Andrew's Park and we fellowship and we praise and we pray and we baptize those who want to be baptized for the repentance of sins and the acknowledgement that Jesus is enthroned as the King of all creation. Ten days until we serve God's people. You were not to, to glean the corners of the field for the sojourner and the alien and for those who were less fortunate. Ten days. To continue to allow God to work in our hearts, in our minds, in our power, in His power to empower us by His Spirit to make a difference in this community, in this city. I'm excited, guys. I'm praying for you. I pray that your, your, your walk this week has been blessed. I pray that your time has been blessed. But today, I'm asking you... Don't go through this day without remembering the importance of the transition of the 40 days from God raising from the dead to being enthroned, all power and majesty. Praise Jesus. All hail King Jesus. Let's go, church.